thoughts and prayers to Demar Hamlin, his family. Um, you know, I can't imagine what they're going through. Uh, the Bills players, um, you know, his teammates, and uh, yeah, just a, a really tough scene. So, uh, you know, thinking about them, praying for them. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, really, really tough situation. Puts things in perspective for sure. Brian was talking about the resources um, that were in place today for several players and several more relationships with him. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think this organization, um, you know, has always, since I've been here, done a great job uh, supporting us as players and and offering uh, whatever you know we need in certain situations. And this is a uh, certainly, you know, a, a unique and, and tough situation for a lot of guys. A lot of guys who know uh, Demar well, who've been teammates with him, um, you know, have coached him, and, and uh, yeah. So I think this this organization does a great job offering those uh, those tools, those resources that can uh, you know help guys going through through uh, tough times. But like I said, thoughts thoughts and prayers to to him, to his family, to the t Bills teammates, and his friends, you know, all over, and some of them are, are in this locker room. Daniel, does this show the best of the NFL fraternity, the way that you guys have all rallied around DeMar during this difficult time? I think, it, yeah, I think it does say a lot. I think, you know, you've seen uh, just a huge outpouring of support um, from uh, from players around the league, from coaches, from from fans, you know, you know, so many fans uh, showing their support and um, t such a tough, tough situation. Um, but, you know, I do think you can see some, some hope and, um, you know, inspiration and, and the support that, uh, you know, has come out of it. Does it make you think more about the dangers of football, which is the sport that you play every day? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, you understand it's a, it's a violent game. There's inherent risk in, in playing uh, each week. Um, but, you know, at the same time, seeing something like that, you know, is, is uh, puts it all in perspective and you don't, you know, you never expect it, right? You know, never, uh, you know, not something you're thinking about a lot, you know, honestly, but to see it, uh, see it happen, to see uh, that situation, you know, Monday night was tough. Also, Dable, to a lot of the former Bills that are in this locker room, what's it been like kind of seeing their emotions and what have you guys discussed with them? Um, yeah, a lot, of, you know, like I said, a lot of guys in this locker room who know him, know him well. Um, coaches who have coached him and, and been around him a lot, and you hear, uh, you know, about all the great things. You know, all the great guy he is, and uh, the great teammate he is, great player he is, and um, you know that's what you've heard from. You know, there's been an outpouring of all you know people sharing their uh, experiences with him and who he is, and you hear the same thing, the guys you talk to here. So. Um, you know, I think uh, think guys are dealing with in different ways, grieving in different ways. Um, so just trying to be as supportive uh, as we can. I think this team, this organization has done a really good job with that. Daniel, on a number of different levels, I mean, obviously the injury with DeMar, but do you go into this week with uncertainty in the sense that you don't know how much you're playing and things like that? Is it harder to prepare? Um, not, I mean, I think uh, I'm preparing uh, as I always do, preparing to play and, and uh, doing doing my what I do to, to prepare. So I don't think that that changes. I think uh, you know certainly the Demar Hamlin situation and, and that factors into your mindset and, and your approach and uh, it's certainly going to affect all of us. Like I said, in different ways, but it's going to going to affect us. So uh, puts things in perspective for sure. When it comes to, to playing or not playing this final game of the season, will you go to, to Brian and, and let him know your thoughts or your opinions on what you would prefer to do? Or just let it go with whatever the coach says? Kind of thing? Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, if he asked my opinion, you know, I, I, I would share that with him. Um, but at the same time, he's a coach, and uh, it's my job to prepare to uh, to play, and uh, I'm prepared to do that. So um, that's what my job is. I understand that. If he asked for my opinion, I'd, I'd share it. But... Um, he's head coach. As, as a competitive athlete, is your preference to go all out to try to win this game? Um, yeah, I mean, I think um, as a player, you know, you're always, you know, wanting to prepare to play and, and, and uh, do what you can. But at the same time, you're uh, you have an obligation to the team. You have an obligation to, um, you know, what's what's best for for the situation. And, and that's what uh, that's Dave's job to make those decisions. So uh, trust him and, and 
you know, obviously I'm going to do whatever he, whatever he tells me to do.